instead of the full picture of, yes, it does have 300 calories, but it also has lots of good stuff in it for you. And you may not benefit, but if we can do exercises that help you learn to get away from details and think about the big picture or think more reasonably about things from a broad perspective, not reasonable as in you're delusional, but reasonable as in a greater or wider appreciation of something, we can actually potentially change the way you utilize therapy. And that's really the goals that we have set out for ourselves. So our current treatment study is looking in adults, um, actually older adolescents and adults, so 16 plus, looking at cognitive behavioral therapy, which is a type of treatment where you look at thoughts, feelings, and behaviors with and without cognitive remediation first. And it's one of the things that we're looking at to see whether or not this would be an ideal adjunctive um, piece. So you can really see that from the state of science of eating disorders, we've moved beyond simply thinking about you're not eating, how do we help you eat, to how can we help you think? How can we help you learn? How can we help you think about yourself and your learning such that you can apply this not only to the illness that's facing you, but potentially to other areas of your life in which you may want help or some behavioral change? So thank you very much.